اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مسٹر رم کے کین یو ہیئر می آئی ہیئر اوکے سو واٹ ڈیڈ یو واٹ از دا میننگ آف دس ہیلپ یور برادر ویدر ہی از این اوپریسر ویدر ہی از اوپریسڈ ٹو ہیلپ یور برادر ویدر از اوپریسر او اوپریسڈ It means that to help the someone who either oppressed him by someone or when he, he oppressed just you, you, you try to remove him from the, from, from the, the, the doing oppressions. Okay, so when someone is oppressing him, we will help him out of that oppression we will take him out of that oppression and if yeah. he is oppressing anyone then we will stop him from oppressing the others yeah so it is our duty to help our brothers who are being oppressed in palestine kashmir rohingya we need to help them yeah, we need to help them what will happen to those who live in deserts uh, for those who live in in the desert yes uh, they will be headless headless no they will become ignorant with time did not you write the answer last time Did, uh, yeah yeah i remember did you write the answers last time yes or no uh no when we don't have the answers not... when then we forget the things okay so today we will start our next class i will not ask you the answer for the next questions but today we will study and you will need to write them do you have a notebook Uh, yes, I have. Okay, good. Start from here. Okay. 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 Do you see the screen? Okay. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم It is narrated that Aisha said said we went out with the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam on one of his journeys and we were in al al bayda or zatul jaish that will be a necklace a necklace a necklace of mine broke and it fell off the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam started to look for it and the people did not did likewise uh, the people did did likewise <coughs> they were not they were not near any water source and they did not have any water with them the people came to abu bakar and said do you not see what aisha has done she has delayed the message of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the people with him they are not near any water source and they do not have any water with them abu bakar came and the messenger of allah was resting his head on thigh and had gone to sleep he said you have delayed you have delayed the messenger of after so they do not they do not have any water with them Abu Bakr scolded me and he said whatever Allah will he should say 
he started poking in the side with 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 his hand and nothing prevented me from moving except the fact that the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was resting on my the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam slept until morning came and there was no water the allah has revealed the verse of tayammum tayammum so they performed the tayammum ustaid bin hudair who was one of the leader said this is not first of your this is not the first of your blessing o family of abakar aisha said we made the camel uh, we made the camel that i had been writing get up and we found a necklace underneath it that i had been uh, the necklace so here we have the excellency of azat aisha whenever any whenever she faced any problem allah made something good for all muslims in that as well so here we are told about the ayah of the yamam how it was revealed when it was revealed so this is a long hadith we will not write all the details except the one thing which we may face in our life so we will write only that point we need to write down so okay okay what shall we do when we don't find any water for wudu or bath what shall we do when we don't find any water for wudu or bath we will perform tayammum the answer is we will perform tayammum yes okay so tell me the answer for first question when we don't find any water source for wudu we must perform tayammum read this and this it was narrated from aisha and that she borrowed a necklace from from asma but it got lost the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sent some his of his companions out to look for it and at the time of a prayer came so they prayed without wudu when they came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they complained to him about that and the verse of tayammum was revealed usaid bin hudair say may allah reward you with good o aisha for by allah you never have any problem but allah grants you a way out and make it a blessing for the muslims okay so same thing is repeated here what shall we do when there is no water for wudu or bath we need to perform tayammum now read this one how a question i yes uh, for which distance is it required to find water around the, that area 
whatever it is your reach you will find the water in that if you find good if you don't find then you will perform the yamu and you when you have you have already performed this the sala with tayammum and the later on you find water is it possible to repeat the sala you can repeat but that is optional for you not necessary okay, okay. let's right. suppose you pray a sala with tayammum later you find the water during the same um, period then you will it is optional thing for you not necessary okay not in this it was narrated from abu huraira that he met a prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in one of the streets of madina when he was sexually impure he slept the he slept his his life be away and he went to perform ghusl and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam noticed the noticed that he was gone when he came to him he said where are you oh abu abu huraira he said oh messenger of allah you met me when i was Sexually impure, and Allah said, "Subhanallah." The believer does not become impure. So, this hadith basically means that when if we if we need to perform the bath of janaba, we can continue the normal routine. Okay, we can meet with other people. We can continue our normal routine except the salah. Okay, no need to write any question from here. Now read this hadith. It was narrated from Umar that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the. The deceased is tormented is tormented in his grave because of wearing over him. So I have a problem. I have. Can you hear? A small problem in English speaker. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I hear. I said that. Eh? Yes. I am not an English. I am not native English speaker, so no problem. I understand, but eh? okay. It's okay. I am also not a native speaker, so sometimes we face problem. But yeah, it's okay, no problem, inshallah. Okay. If you find any more difficult, you can ask me. Okay. Okay. Do you know what is deceased? Deceased. Yes. Dead person. Okay. When a person yeah. dies, that uh, is dead body is dead person is deceased. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes Arabic it takes to help me. Yes. Yeah. Then. The word is wailing. Next word wailing. is wailing. Do you know what is wailing? Because of wailing, ah, I have no, no. Wailing means shouting and crying with the loud voice. Okay. 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 Shouting and crying with the loud voice is called. Wailing. Okay. What will happen to the deceased when the 
family will our him our his or her dead body what will happen to the deceased when the family veil over his or her dead body the answer is the deceased will be tormented in the grave the deceased will be tormented in the grave the deceased will be tormented in the grave so what is the answer for question number 2 the this uh, when the people of family were over the over his or her dead body yes the deceased will be tormented in the grave okay eh by allah will be tormented or punished by by allah allah you can say angels usually angels are sent in the grave for punishment okay but we can okay. just simply write they will be tormented in the grave Okay. Read this and this. It was narrated that Anna said, "We were with we were with Omar between Mecca and Medina, and we were looking for the new we looked for the new." Present, I saw that they were saying to Umar, "Don't you see it?" He said, "I will see it when I am, I am laying in my bed." Then he started telling us about the about the people of Bad. He said, "The Messenger of Allah was, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, was showing us the places where they would fall." saying this is where so and the so will fall in the battle tomorrow if allah wills this is where so and the so will fall in the battle tomorrow if allah wills and they started fall in those places places i said by the one who sent you with the trust they did not miss those places they fell in those places and uh, then he ordered that they be thrown into a well and he, he went to them and he, and he said also and so also and so did you find to what Allah promised you to be true Allah promised me to be all messenger of Allah are you speaking to the people who who are not who are now dead he said do you not hear do uh, you do you, you do not hear what i am saying any better than they do but they cannot answer so here we have two things first thing is this that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam before the battle of badr told his companion where in the exact locations where the commanders of enemy will be yeah. killed so allah gave him this knowledge and he told them in advance then the second thing is for us as well that can a dead person hear you the answer is yes he can hear us just like a normal person but he cannot reply so yes. here we will write the question
कैन आ डेड पर्सन हियर कैन अ डेड पर्सन हियर यू द आंसर इज यस अ डेड पर्सन कैन हियर अस जस्ट लाइक अ नॉर्मल पर्सन द आंसर इज यस अ डेड पर्सन कैन हियर अस जस्ट लाइक अ नॉर्मल पर्सन वट इज द आंसर फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री a dead person can hear you like a normal person correct now read this it was narrated that yahya bin yamar and humaid bin abdur rahman al himyari said we met abdullah bin umar and he discussed the divine decree al qadar and what others said concerning it he said when you go back to them say ibn umar has nothing to do with you and you have nothing to do with him three times three times then he said Umar bin Al-Khattab radiyallahu anhu told me that whilst the auto pronunciation of this whilst whilst they were sitting with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and a man came to him working working with a handsome face and a hair wearing white clothes the people looked at one another as if they, to say we do not know this man and he, he does not look like a, a traveler then he said o oh, messenger of allah shall i come to you he said yes so he came and he put his knee his knees against his knee and his hands on his thigh and he said what is islam he said to, tes to testify that there is no god but allah and that muhammad is a messenger of allah to establish regular prayer to give zakat to fast ramadan and to go on pilgrimage to the house he said what is the faith iman he said to believe in allah his angels paradise and the hell resurrection after the after death and the, the divine decree all of it he said what is ihsan he said to strive for the sake of allah as if you see him and even though you do not see him he sees you he said when will the hour when will will the hour came he said the one who is asking me about it does not know does not know more than the one who is asking yeah who is asking he said what is the uh, potent what is, what is, what are is potent he said when the destitute the, uh, their foot neck and neck the shepherd shepherd complete in construction lofty building and the slave who and the slave women give birth to the master, master then he said call the man to me 
they looked for him, but they saw no trace of him. Two or more, three days passed. Then he said, Oh, Ibn Khattab, do you know who that was asked about such and such? He said, Allah and his messenger know the best. He said, that was Jibril who came to teach you your religion. A man from Juhaina or Muzaina. Ask him. Ask him, O oh, Messenger of Allah, what are we striving for? It is something that it is already it is already decided, or oh, it is something that involved right now. He said, for something that is already decided. The man or oh, one of the people said, O oh, Messenger of Allah then why should we strive he said the people of paradise will be enabled to to do to do the deeds of the people of paradise and the people of hell will be enabled to do the deeds of the people of hell yahya said and that is how it is okay this was a very long hadith so we have many questions from this hadith, okay? Okay. So first question we will need to write is, can we make discussions about divine decree? Can we make discussions about the divine decree? The answer is no. No we cannot make any discussions about the divine decree because humans don't have knowledge about it no we cannot make discussions about the divine decree because humans don't have knowledge about it but it is necessary for the muslims to believe in the divine decree but it is necessary for the Muslims to believe in the divine decree. So tell me the answer for question number four. We cannot make it. It is necessary for us to believe about to be, to to believe on divine decree. Yeah, we cannot make discussion about the divine decree, but it is necessary for us to believe in the divine decree. I think four questions are enough for today. These are these are many questions, so we'll write them in the next class in detail, inshallah. Okay. okay. Now you go to the WhatsApp group and send the answers of these in the group right now okay i am waiting thank you so much i i 